Good morning, Tux. You stretching and coming down for breakfast? Good morning. There's my girls. I saw Stripe was up here in the chair. Haven't seen Morris yet. I'm sure he's around. Good morning, buddy. Where's your friend? Hi. Hello. Tux wasn't up here causing any trouble. Where's your friend? Morris. So my unicycle is all charged up now. Yeah, I charge it up to 90%. And Jules is charged up to 90% because this afternoon Don and I are going somewhere. Just the paper, huh? Yeah, no Lego. Sorry. Just the newspaper. Okay. Mm, will you enjoy your walk? I will. Tux is back there somewhere thinking about it. He's mostly looking for opportunities to chase Gray and Sleet. Well, I saw or hope some of my camellias take off this year. I'm going to get back out here and fertilize them again. Hi, bud. Hi. Hello, cute stuff. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hello. I don't seem to have any poison ivy this morning. I did get bit. Probably was an ant. I didn't see what it was. I have one goose egg on my arm. Pretty large area reaction to some sort of a bite but it's actually better this morning than last night and anything that's not on my feet the arm is not as cruel a spot hello hello so i am going to start working on the queen anne victorian this morning and um i had left off with the very last step actually for the foundation which is to put the flowers on so I'm picking up with the flowers. It's time for me to stop. Um, it's coming along okay, I guess. I've gotten, maybe I'm halfway through the first floor. This back wall, they showed tan and I just couldn't deal with it. I wanted it to all be the medium lavender. So I'm probably gonna have to order some more medium lavender bricks, but those bricks are easy to come by and not expensive um currently being made all that good stuff obviously if i keep this door it will not be blue um, that's just the only color door i have right now and um i'm still trying to decide if i just want to make it more windows because I get a widow's walk if it was the second story, but I don't I don't get a door here for the first floor, so I'm a little I'm just a little confused. I'm trying to decide. I've added my own personal window to the back side um, for, so I can put LEDs in there. This one's kind of neat. It, it it opens out like that. Um, most of them don't do that. That was sort of an accident that I ordered a piece of glass that only hooked on one side. And all the bricks I got, I still didn't get these to fix down here, which I'm really disappointed now that I didn't realize what was going on here and that these are tan, because I'd really rather they were dark gray, I think. I, I could, of course, swap it out if I wanted to. Um, we'll have to see. Coming along. There's Don and Jules, ready to go. <laughs> this is where we miss Ruby. I can't do that. <laughs> so Don and I are headed to Jacksonville, North Carolina. Never been to Jacksonville, North Carolina. Well, that might not be. I haven't been to Jacksonville, North Carolina. Well, isn't the air show near Jacksonville? Uh, possibly. Yeah, I thought maybe. Okay. We'll anyway, out. yeah. Well, we haven't been to where we're going, that's for sure, which that's is right. the Senior Services Center over in Jacksonville. Can't, can't. <laughs> one of us is a senior. <laughs> we're going to get our COVID, our first COVID shot. Uh, another yeah. uh, local uh, Tesla person and a friend 
drove down here last week with his wife and got his shot and let folks know on Facebook that it was open to basically anyone over 18 at this location, which we had not heard was happening yet. And uh, so I called and I signed us up. And, you know, one would think at some point reasonably soon it'll be... Um, uh, closer maybe but why not take a ride in the Tesla down to Jacksonville I mean seriously right right the only bad thing is is it's close to the beach and we won't actually get to see the beach <laughs> right on a day when it's not a scorcher so um, it is almost two hours to get there just shy and we're our appointments at 340 it says 335 but she told us not to arrive more than five minutes early because they don't have any place for us and since we don't know the area around there, we don't know where we would be. Um, it's telling us round trip we're going to get back at 2%. So on the way back, we're probably going to have to cut back across to Wallace and, and supercharge. Uh, but we're going to play that by ear. See how, how uh, uh, risk-taking we're feeling today, I suppose. But we're planning to stop at Wallace. And uh, we charged a 90% last night. And then at noon today, when we went to off-peak rate for our electricity, we um, bumped it up to 100% and kicked charging back off for Jules again. And that would be so that we would get close to 100% charge, but we wouldn't let the battery sit there charged up for an extended period of time. Because, you know, uh, Last night when Dawn bumped her up to 90 and she started charging at 8.30 p.m., she was done, you know, a little bit after midnight. It wasn't a long charging session. So if we had charged up to 100% overnight, she would have sat there for hours and hours before we drove her. And we certainly don't want to treat the battery like that. Now, she did not finish charging to 100%. It was 99-something in that last little battery balancing thing. But she was almost all the way charged. So... We have as much battery as we could have, and remember, Jules is a performance Model Y, so she's not got the maximum Model Y range because she's got those um, larger wheels. Even McGee's Crossroads, North Carolina, has a sheet. <laughs> we came across on 210. Um, it's a little longer to go out 42 past Michelle's house to pick up I-40. It's a little closer to go down through Anger across on 210 and pick up I-40 so that's what the car told us to do. I told Don every time I go out toward the beach I'm always picking up Michelle so I don't come this way to pick up I-40 but I get it that it's that it's actually faster this way. I sure wish it was sunny for our drive today. We haven't been lucking out with driving on days when the sun is actually shining. All these pretty red trees, the trees that have the red foliage on them, those are mostly maples. The young leaves coming out are, are red like that. So we are on I-40 now. Heading to the beach. Kinda. Yeah, we'll be on I-40 where the speed limit is uh, 70 until we get down to 24 and then we need to take 24 over to Jacksonville. the highway 24 to take us into Jacksonville the last leg of the trip and it's still cloudy and um, we're still on time well yeah. Don and I are both very sure that we have never been to Beulahville North Carolina before very very sure <laughs> it's a nice little small town we had to drop our speed obviously we were out in the middle of nowhere and then poof there's a little town Home of the East Duplin Eastern Duplin Panthers. Yeah. So we must be in Duplin County. Yep. 
Yeah. And past the ads for the winery tours. Yeah. Yeah, Duplin Wineries here, Muscadine Grapes. That's a big deal for North Carolina agriculture. If you get wine in, made in North Carolina, pretty much it was made from Muscadine Grapes. Makes a great non-alcoholic slushy at the state fair. Oh well, the road's wet over here. I guess if it looks like rain, it probably will rain. <laughs> it's not actually raining right now though. Just damp off the road. We've seen some nice barns today. We've seen some nice old farmhouses. About by the time I see it and think of taking a picture of it though, we're past it. This is a big old house big old tree to go along with it. Yep. Just fixing to say we hadn't seen any Teslas on our trip. Two hours, but there comes a Model 3. Well, there's another Model 3 here at the Onslow County Senior Services Center. It's a lot of um, couples in there getting their shots together. Apparently that's the thing. So as I was saying, there was a lot of couples. I right. saw five, six, seven other couples, older folks right. coming in. And uh, Don asked the nice girl that gave him the shot. She said that they had um, given out 600, 600 vaccines just at this location today. today. And uh, we're scheduled to come back on April the 20th, 3.40 in the afternoon, just like today. So Don can get in most of his work day. We can yeah. drive down, but we're not back too late for dinner. So yeah. I would say these people, they did really well. They yep. had plenty of people. They had guy out in a couple of gentlemen out in the parking lot. They had two entrances, A and a B. And you, they asked you which one, because they told us when we made the appointment, uh we went right in they took our insurance card and our driver's license verified fill out a little paperwork i would say it was like you know exactly what boom, you would boom, want, boom. the way you would like it and uh, they were very pleasant friendly um everything i mean i give them a a plus yeah when we come back for the second dose we'll be about a half a mile behind don's right. head through the woods over there at the onslow county government offices i guess they right. don't want any we confusion got... between first and second doses so they're going to do them in different buildings yeah we've got the moderna yeah uh, when moderna it was vaccine. the moderna vaccine yeah. yep yeah i don't know anybody in wake county that really got vaccinated in wake county i know somebody that yeah. went to pinehurst I know somebody that went to Rocky Mount, and then we, and, and some Fayetteville. other people, Fayetteville, <laughs> yeah. and then Onslow County, Jacksonville. So yeah. um, I'm sure there are people we, getting vaccinated we, in Wake, Wake County, County, but um, you, it's hard to get an appointment. There's a lot of different ways you, you got it. It's very convoluted. Yeah. So this was really easy, and you know, right. half Tesla will drive. Yeah, that's right. We'll We've travel. Seen two Teslas already today. Yep. So I got all of my important pokemoning for today done here because there's three gyms and three pokestops that we can reach from this parking spot and a whole bunch of pokemon so that was great got all my accounts handled secondly we knew we were going back to wallace and um i guess it adds about 15 minutes on to our trip plus the charging time which is like charge for five minutes um but yeah the car didn't give us a choice it just said go to go to Wallace and charge for a little bit. It says 15 minutes, but you know, probably that's uh, bloated a little bit. Anyway, we're headed to Wallace. No problem. That building over there is actually the farmer's market. See all the little garage door roller doors. I guess on the weekend they roll them up, people back in and have their produce. Um, solar panels on the roof just pointing out the solar panels i got their act together down here in onslow county yeah there's not a lot out at the discovery garden but there is a really nice uh garden here and walkway and that kind of thing and then over here they've got cisterns collecting rainwater off the roof which i'm sure they use to help water the gardens well, like i said he's over here in onslow county they have got their act together looks good looks really good well, you know, maybe when we come back for our second shot, we can spend a few minutes and walk around the garden. Um, looks really nice. I think there's a water area right back in there. I'm looking high for birds. I don't see any hawks or anything right now, but wait, cool. So even though we were in the car for almost two hours to get down here and we're only inside for maximum 30 minutes over there, uh, Jules is preconditioning. 
for the supercharger. Coastal Plains Dragway. So we're on North 111 and there's a air, pretty good sized airport over there. I mean, that's a real tower. We can say for sure we've never been on this road before. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to add that Don and I are both pretty darn sure we haven't had COVID. First off, we haven't had any symptoms, COVID-like symptoms, but um, I know I gave blood, I think this was my sixth time since COVID started, and they've been checking the blood supply by doing the antibody test on the blood before they certify it's okay for use and uh, da all of our tests from all of the blood uh, drives including the one last week have been negative so pretty darn sure that we haven't had COVID. Well I guess we're done preconditioning. We're seeing a lot of flooded out houses, some houses being built up higher, um, lots of little cemeteries today you know five ten headstones and that's it with their own little little fence um, yeah interesting uh, rural North Carolina scenery today this is it right here yep mad for restaurant now your destination is on the left we got it first try first try With extra tint. <laughs> yeah, it says it would have been minus 8% if we went home, but of course we went out of our way to go south to go to Wallace, so uh, Don says when we come back we won't try to charge up to 100%, we'll just do 90% and because uh, there's just no sense in it if, if we can't. We thought it was worth trying to see, but if we can't make it without having to supercharge, there's no reason to go up to 100. Yep. See what we get. Yeah. <laughs> Sitting here in the lap of luxury with the air conditioner or the heater or whatever right. it was doing. Yeah, well, we're back up to 68. It felt very comfortable outside. Yeah, the t outside temperature is 68. I'm in short sleeves today. Yeah, so we made 141, 142 kilowatts. Not bad. You gonna put on today's video? Yeah, I'm gonna watch today's video. <laughs> okay. Don did hit Netflix, see if we got enough surface to... Well, we're close to the interstate here. Yeah, and we just passed the big cell tower that Don had pointed out too, so... Yeah, so we should be okay. Oh, it says premium. Yeah, well, we did get you signed in. See, so you're signed in. Huh? Yay! Yep, yeah, it says we'll get home at 18% now. Don's going to go um, unplug. It still says time remaining to continue trip is five minutes, but... Yeah, we've got 180 miles. My goodness, I mean, it's like I yeah, don't know what this Yeah, I think we thing... I think we could get there. How I don't far know. is it to the house? I don't think uh, yeah, just hit continue trip. Continue yeah. trip. Yeah. Let's just see what it, it says. says one more time. Yeah, we've only got to go 87, 87 miles, so yeah. surely I think we're okay to go. Just mentioning, there's also a charge point charger here, so all EVs could charge at this charging location. We're not seeing as great uh, efficiency as we're used to getting around town, and there's a couple reasons for that. Number one is, you know, we're going over 70 mile an hour, and when you go faster, you're not as efficient as at lower speeds. And number two is, uh, coming back from the coast, the el there's an elevation climb. And then number three is Don said he sort of feels like there's a little bit of a headwind. You can yeah. actually, he's having to, you know, just 
well, the car is driving in autopilot, but he's got his hand on the wheel, obviously. And right. uh, he could feel a little bit of give in the, in, in the wheel. We were closer to 312 watt hours per mile, we think, going down. We looked right. at it one time, but on the way home, it's been over one, oh, it's been over 350 the entire, the entire time. Yeah. And Johnny's getting Hibachi and company. We changed the, from home to the little Japanese takeout restaurant. Correctly, we've seen this happen in Ruby before. It's only staying for a short period of time, though. It, yeah. But yes, it's very bright. We have our sun visors down. Yeah, the car always says that self-driving or whatever, uh, autopilot, whatever, may be degraded. But I've actually never seen it kick back to the driver or stop working. So. We'll call that a message for the lawyers. Oh, I think there's some Legos. Pay dirt. Pay dirt. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to start carrying me a bag on the unicycle. <laughs> I can't carry all this stuff. Yeah, because it's a good thing you stopped. Oh. Well, looky where it tucks is. Are you coming? This is the Tesla owner you guys all know. The one that gets his car a little bit dirty on a short drive and comes home and details it out. Right. This is me. <laughs> he did eat dinner first, which is why he's out here and it's dark now. But yeah.